My name is Evan Ferrante, and I'm the world's leading Tom Cruise impersonator, self-proclaimed. So you may not see it at first glance, but I assure you, it is very, very true. Let me just put this out there and just clear the air. I am a huge fan of Tom Cruise. I mean, he just does it for me in every way. I've always liked his work, um, get excited about his movies. He's a real movie star, and he's great, too. I mean, have you seen Magnolia? So the point is, everything I do is an homage to his work and imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I feel like the world has always had a desire, a real need to, to learn how to do a Tom Cruise impersonation and who better to show you and demonstrate than the world's best. I'm gonna break it down for you in a few very, very simple steps and let you in on some of my little secrets, trade secrets, if you will. So in order to transition effectively from the man who sits before you to the biggest movie star in the world, you're going to need a few props, right? So I'm not a lookalike. You, you can see that plainly. Um, I may have his profile to some degree. I've got um, his height down, and I've got a big, big <laughs> gleaming smile. But besides that, I'm really not a lookalike. So I need a few things. The first thing I need is, and maybe if you have straight hair, you're in luck, you don't need this, but I need a wig, all right? So I picked this one up at a, a series I did years ago called Tom Cruise is a Cock Block. It's a three-part. You should check it out. See the first episode here. And um, you'll also need some of his classic go-to glasses. And I, I would either choose his uh, aviators from Top Gun or his um, Wayfarer Ray-Bans from Risky Business. And then, um, you know, usually he wears like a, a black t-shirt, right, to, to nail the look. So... Besides the physical, right, let's go a little deeper. You're going to need to learn his gestures, his mannerisms, and, um, and basically channel, which I do. I do channel his energy from somewhere. I've also been gifted with his vocal cords, which, depending on how you look at it, can be a blessing or a curse. So the actual Tom Cruise, and I've had the distinct pleasure of meeting him. Now, that's a story for another time. He looks fantastic for his age. I mean, remarkably good looking and built. And he probably can afford the greatest trainer in the world and he uses the you know, top of the line Japanese skincare products. But I'm younger, about 20 years, and I tend to emulate his early years. Now I know you've absorbed a wealth of information thus far, but let's recap and try to follow me. So you're gonna need a wig, sunglasses, and a black t-shirt. And you're gonna need to be clean shaven naturally. So. Come with me. So generally, Tom Cruise is pretty clean shaven in all of his roles. I mean, unless he's playing a Vietnam vet and born on the 4th of July, or he's playing a samurai in The Last Samurai. So yeah, this is how he kind of does it. So this is a non sequitur, if you will, but um, you should always use a straight razor. Uh, my girlfriend bought me this, and uh, I'm in love with it. Voila! Like a baby's bottom. The big reveal is only seconds away, but I first need to channel him, so bear with me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know! <laughs> I'm back. So now that we've covered all the basics, let's go deeper into what makes Tom Cruise Tom Cruise. Number one, he does pregnant pauses really, really well. Tell me again, Simon Bob Sugar, because I'm a little moved by your word is stronger than oak thing. Number two, he articulates each and every syllable. Kittredge, you've never seen me. Very upset. Number three, he's an intense human being. Everything he says is laser focused. See this coat I'm wearing? I don't need it anymore. You know why? Because I'm cloaked in failure. I had two slices of bad pizza. In the morning, I grew a conscience. So let's throw all those together. You don't know what it's like to be out here for you. It's an up at dawn, pride swallowing siege that I could never fully tell you about. Just help me help you, Rod. Help me help you. Help me help you. Number four. Tom Cruise treats you like you are number one in his world, okay? You are VIP. He makes you feel like a million bucks. 
Okay, you get sucked into his energy field and you feel absolutely fabulous. Number five, personal space. Well, Tom Cruise doesn't have any. In fact, he manhandles you. He shakes you violently, uncontrollably. It's electrifying. Like that's okay to do in public, but it's really not. You let it happen anyway because he's Tom Cruise. Number six, confidence. Borders on arrogance. Tom Cruise knows everything about everything. In fact, he studied it. Oh no, Matt, 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 you're being glib. You don't know the history of psychology. I do. I studied it. So there you have it, friendos. Tom Cruise is a lover of life, okay? He's a magical little elf, and he embraces it to the fullest. He sucks the marrow out of life. <laughs> the one thing I didn't mention is he runs. And he runs a lot. Okay, now it's your turn, okay? I want you to show me your best Tom Cruise impersonation from the steps I've given you. Get a wig, sunglasses, throw in a black t-shirt, give me a little wheeze laughter, show me what you got. So one thing I've learned in these four years, sometimes you just gotta say, what the fuck? <laughs> Make your move. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking zoo's closed, Ray. <laughs> the fucking zoo's closed. <laughs> Respect the cock.